creatures often visit Doily Woods, and none was stranger than the creature Arthur met one day. Oh, wow. Good morning, friend. You almost made me jump out of my skin, gasped Arthur. Ah, said the creature. It is quite usual for the caterpillar or larva of the species Lepidoptera, its moths and butterflies, to shed their skins. Fancy that. No one has ever told me. Not everyone knows, but I do. It's all in here. All in your tum? queried Arthur. Now, I'm only a mere caterpillar, mate, but I do know that your think box is upstairs. Ah, yes, in mere caterpillars, that is so, but I am a bookworm. Now, bookworms eat up facts from books. Consequently, our source of knowledge is our stomachs. Allow me to demonstrate. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Um, delicious. Ah, now let me see. Ah, yes. Did you know that the sixth wife of King Henry VIII was called Catherine Parr? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, said Arthur, keeping his fingers crossed. Everyone knows that. And his seventh wife was called Betty. You are an ignoramus. Oh, thank you, said Arthur. I say, said the bookworm, why not join me for breakfast? Chapter three looks quite tasty. Well, tart anyway, but I always eat leaves. Plenty of leaves here. <laughs> tart very much for breakfast, said Arthur. But as he walked back through the wood, he was feeling quite different. He felt all clever and knowledgeable. He discovered Mavis Cruet looking down a hole. Mavis, did you know that should that hole be deep enough to go right through the earth, it would finish up in Australia? Gosh, said Mavis. Then up popped a bunny. Excuse me, bunny, cried Mavis. But are you from Australia? Sure, Spot, said the rabbit. From a little place called Watership Down Under. Not necessarily true, said Arthur. Rabbits are well known for their mendacity. Their what? queried Mavis. It means they're all fibbers, said Arthur. Tell me, Arthur, said Mavis, why have you suddenly become so clever and use such long words? I owe it all to my new friend, the bookworm, and his book. It's made me what I am. It's made you ever so boring, said Mavis, but under her breath. I must meet him. Hello, said the bookworm. Who are you? I'm Mavis Cruet. I'm a fairy. A fairy? There's no such thing. It says so here. You, madam, are an hallucination. Oh, you poor short-sighted little grub, you. Cried Mavis. It's probably all the fault of your diet. You should eat lots and lots of lovely green stuff. I am a fairy, and just to prove it, I'm going to change that musty old book into a lovely, tasty cabbage. <coughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Now tell me, bookworm. Asked Mavis. What is twice two? Um, 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 uh, uh, five? Asked the bookworm. You're cured, said Mavis. Mm -hmm.